I am Gregory and this is Penzane. This is the Ink Journal Ink Flight for June 2023 and I'm very excited and I've had some near spoilers on YouTube. <laughs> uh, someone uh, basically put a spoiler in their <laughs> in their thumbnail. Um, yeah, so I fortunately I uh, I looked away just in time. <laughs> so I figured I better get this video done so I, I don't get it spoiled. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Very interesting. There's the inks. Extra and a very nice sticker more of a, a classic looking sticker with a I believe they call this a hologram even though it's just shiny <laughs> um, yeah very cool every fountain pen has a flex nib at least once <laughs> there you see uh, the tines are sprung as they say <laughs> that's very cool all right, ooh, this is interesting. So Colorverse inks this month. And then, uh, as you see there, a pen stand. Wow. This, it's made out of this like heavy duty cardboard. Very interesting. Just make out, it's kind of a, a poor stamp there, but uh, Nakabayashi. Ooh. That opens. Does this need instructions? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, and it is on some sort of hinge. It doesn't, doesn't actually come out. I see. That's the, you know, it's kind of awkward in this picture, but, uh, oh, and it's magnetic. Now that is cool. And basically this pulls out, this pulls out like so, this folds under has a magnetic closure, stands like that. That is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what this insert is for, but it's dangerous, do not eat. <laughs> very cool, very cool. All right, so you wanna look at some inks. Uh, so they are Colorverse inks, and just real quick, let's read this. Uh, this month, we adventure into the stars to explore brilliant constellations brought to you by South Korea's Colorverse. Each color of the Ink Project Volume 5 is named after zodiac constellations. Volume 6 has three multicolor pigment pearl glistening hues. You won't need a telescope to see the glorious shading, sheening, and shimmering inks in this flight. Nice. <laughs> All right. So the first one is Sagittarius. Next up we have Cancer. Then Aquarii. Would that be Aquarius? No, Aquarius. Well, yeah, Aquarius. Aquarii. And we have my own star sign, Virgo. The 
Then we're on to the ones that need to be actually shaken. This is Cat's Eye Nebula. Monkey Head Nebula. And the last one, Iris Nebula. And let's wait for these to dry. Okay, those took a really, really long time to dry. <laughs> you couldn't tell on the time lapse there, but uh, yeah, uh, this one in particular, um, Sagittarius, took a very, very long time to dry. <laughs> Some very, very interesting things going on in these. Um, hopefully from the, the little close-up panning I did, you could pick some of that up. I was a little concerned at first because several of these didn't have much saturation and in fact looked very watery. <laughs> uh, so I was concerned, but as you see, uh, um, a lot of them show show signs of, of saturation along the edges there, which um, actually looks really nice. So I do like Sagittarius, that's that one there. Uh, Cancer is good, but, um, I don't know. It doesn't speak to me. This one, okay, that one kind of blew me away. So that is Aquarius, or Aquarii. And that uh, is a very, very dark blue with what appears to be copper or maybe bronze sheen. Uh, which is right up my alley. <laughs> I, I, this is a nice teal, but, ah, uh, you know. <laughs> this one is kind of blowing me away. I, I have concerns that it's a little light for writing, but that's just really, really pretty. <laughs> and you have that that shimmer there. Um, in fact, let's see, that would be Cat's Eye Nebula. This light pastel green glitters with a multicolored shimmer that appears like a brass patina. Ah, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I could see that. And uh, let's go back and read oh, uh, Aquarii. Aquarius represents the water bearer and is one of the oldest constellations documented. This ink is a deep, sheening blue. It's too bad it doesn't actually describe the sheen, though. <laughs> but to me, it looks, you know, in the, uh, the bronze, copper color family. Um, this is also very nice. This is the Monkey Head Nebula. This shading blue ink glistens with coppery violet shimmer. And this last one, still very nice. In, in the gray family, which I, I love my gray inks. Uh, so this is the, the Iris Nebula. This dusky grayish purple ink shines with silvery multicolored pigment pearl. Yeah. 
This, out of the, the shimmer ones, this is probably the most subtle. Those are, I wouldn't say intense, but they have, they have a fair amount of shimmer there. Oh, when I was putting these down, I was like, oh, I'm not going to like any of these and, you know, I won't have to buy any. <laughs> uh, I definitely need that one. And probably these two. I'm, I never thought I would be into shimmer inks, but I'm really, really starting to appreciate them. So, <laughs> um, shall we write with one? Um, I'm, again, I'm curious about this one. So let's go ahead and write with the Cat's Eye Nebula. And you may have noticed I was, I was doing the little swatches there with the the rounded end of this um, serendipity hybrid pen. So it's a dip pen with a, a feed and it does actually have a, a small reservoir. Um, when you dip the pen, the, the ink travels up into the reservoir and it holds a fair amount of ink in there. So highly recommended. Uh, made in Australia. Okay, so <laughs> it's a good thing we do writing tests because th that is too light. That that is just too light. Uh, I mean, it looks gorgeous in in that form, but of course, that was a ton of ink for that area. This is very light. <laughs> As it dries, is darkening a little bit. But you have to be able to see what you're writing, too. <laughs> um, it's definitely darkening, actually. But yeah, I... Oh. Yeah, so out of this bunch, and I suspect the others are probably going to be the same. So out of this bunch, uh, definitely the winner for me is the Aquarius. But anyway... See, it's a, a good thing I... I tried that out because I would have bought that and been like, ooh, this is pale. <laughs> but anyway, this has been the Ink Flight for June 2023. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.